and welcome back to my channel. So as you can tell by the title of this video, I am going to be filming my updated beauty room tour today. This time last year, I filmed a decorating my beauty room video for my YouTube channel, which I was actually in a completely different room. But today I thought I'd do an updated version since I've been in this new room for coming up a year now, and I thought I would show you guys the updated version of my beauty room. So, okay, let's get into the video. So when you come up the stairs, this is the first room at the top and it is also the biggest room of the house and the one with the best lighting. That is why I actually chose this room to have as my beauty room. So I'll take you guys in and show you around. So when you first come through the door, the first thing you're going to see is my mirror here. This full length mirror I got from Kmart. And then there's just a cute little rug on the ground here. This rug is from the warehouse. And then when you turn around on this side, here is my little for show area and little waiting room area as well. So this painting here is from the warehouse and then this chair is also from the warehouse. I love this chair. So a lot of the time when my clients come in, they'll either bring a friend or a family member or if they book together, they'll come together. So this is where the extra person will sit and wait. And then you move over this way and I have this shelf. This shelf here is from Kmart and it's just got some really cute little decorations. As you can tell, I have a lot of fake plants because I can't keep real plants alive. <laughs> I have my little price list here. This little board is from Kmart. So these are the main things that I offer, but it is yet to be updated because I have added quite a few different services as well. But it's just got like my makeup, eyelash extensions, nails and stuff on here. Just a cute little price list. I also here have um, my business cards. So on my business cards, I have my logo on the front, my Instagram, and on the back is my loyalty card. So as you can see, when you get six stamps, you get 50% off any service of your choosing. I have this little thing here. I'm not actually sure what it's called, but it makes the room smell so nice. I have lots of different flavors. Right now it has lavender in it. And then if you move down here, I have my speaker because I usually play music while I am doing all my appointments. And I have my makeup kit here. This is what I use to travel to my clients. I pack all my makeup into it and it's just easy to carry around with me. And then you move on and here is my nail station. So up on the wall here I have a little bit of inspo and a couple of my favourite nails that I've actually done. And then moving down here I have my nail cart. This just has everything I need to do nails. So I have like my files, my nail clippers, I have my acrylic tips, I have my acetone and nail polish remover and stuff like that and then you move down this way and I have my nail racks up on the wall I love these these are from Trade Me I bought them for about $50 each which is pretty good so on this rack here the first rack has just my normal nail polishes so I have quite a few OPI polishes and I also have my Dior polishes I have these pink swan ones and Cosmos. As you can see, there's still room for me to grow as I do want to keep collecting polishes and I don't have a lot of normal polishes yet, but they are coming. And then you move on to this wall here and these are all my gel polishes. I love how they're all like one color. They're so aesthetically pleasing. Um, but yeah, those are all my gels and this is my nail station. So I have my nail light here, my UV lamps, my little hand cushion and then over here I have my hand sanitizer, my nail drill and some hand lotion. So this is the side that my clients sit on and I sit on that side so it's easy for me to access everything and I love how I have two different UV lights so that they can put one hand in each because I always had to go into the nail salons and having to cross my hands over. I just want to do what's just easiest for my clients. But then you come over to the windowsill here and I have my polishes to show my clients and then this little book here shows all my gel colors. So I am still growing my nail polish collection. I'm going to be getting a lot more colors and a lot more brands and stuff in too. So you guys should stay tuned for that as um, I am actually coming out with my own gel polish brand. But yeah. Sorry about the lighting too. This huge window, which is a very beautiful window, actually makes the lighting on the camera really hard to get. I have some cute little plants here on the window, so obviously fake ones again. So when you move over to this side, this is my lash area. So everything I need to do lashes is in this trolley, so it's easily accessible when I sit there. So in these little drawers, I have like my lash wands, I have my glue rings in here, and I have my gel pads in this top one as well. But then everything else that I use is pretty much in these drawers. 
So up on this wall over here is some of my qualifications. I haven't put up all my certificates yet, but those are my main ones. I just haven't gone around to putting everything up yet. So yeah, so here's my lash bed and I just have towels on the bed at the moment, but I do have new sheets and stuff coming in. And then up on the wall over here, I have my logo. So Christina's Beauty Studio, I had this made for me. I actually love it and I think it's a great art piece in the room as well. But yeah, then we keep moving on over here. And then this is the last station in here, which is my makeup station. So this is where I do makeup on my clients when they do come to me. Majority of the time, I do end up traveling to my clients as I travel out of town a lot. Yeah, but I do end up traveling a lot for like school balls and stuff when they book in big groups. So yeah, but this is where I do my makeup when my clients do come to me. So I have my two ring lights here just to make sure I don't have any shadows on my clients' faces when I'm doing their makeup. And then if we move down here, I have another travel case here that I take with me when I do makeup. So this is actually a guest suitcase. Um, my partner actually bought this for me for my birthday. <laughs> The case that I use over there is actually getting too small and I have too much makeup that I want to take with me. So my partner bought me this for my birthday. I think it's super cute and it's going to be perfect to take around as it does have the handle for me to drag with me. So I'll show you guys a little view inside it. A lot of my makeup is still in my other case but some of it is in here as I'm starting to move things in. I'm still waiting for some of my um, storage things to come, but this is what it looks like so far. I just have some of my palettes on the side and my makeup in these little bags here. I have a couple bigger bags coming as well, so I'm excited for those to arrive so I can fully start using this. But yeah, that kind of just lives under the makeup table at the moment. So last but not least, I have my closet here. For those of you guys who don't know, I do have a second business that I started towards the end of last year. So I have a dress rental business where I rent out garments um, for an affordable price. So in here is some of my dresses. So this is where I keep everything and people can come on and try on dresses in here as well. That's why I have the full length mirror for you to try on the dresses and look at them on yourself. So as you can see, it's a little empty at the moment, obviously, because a lot of my dresses are actually rented out this weekend. But these are the ones that are left over and still available. If you guys want to check out my page, I will tag it down below. I have a lot of different brands in here from like Beckenbridge to Kukai to I also have like Baby Boo Fashion, Beginning Boutique, um, Fashion Over and stuff like that as well. But yeah, my slogan is why buy when you can rent for the fraction of the price and all my rentals are $40 and under. So that's pretty much an updated version of my beauty room tour. I hope you guys enjoyed seeing this. The reason I actually decided to film this is because things are about to change again and I wanted to document kind of all the steps I've gone through to get to where I am now. From when I used to do lashes from my garage downstairs to when I had my small little beauty room in one of the other rooms in this house to now the biggest room of the house is my beauty room. Yeah, things are about to change again. A lot of big things are happening this year and I'm so excited to share it all with you guys and to show you guys every step of the way of my little journey. Yeah, as I said, I've been in this room for almost a year now, so it's time that things started upgrading and changing again. And I'm so excited to announce to you guys soon what I'm actually doing this year because I have some very big plans for this year. For those of you who didn't know, this is actually my full-time job. I've been doing this full-time for quite a while now, which is actually crazy to me. Um, I never thought that I'd be running my own business full-time. But I hope you guys enjoyed the tour. Please like, comment, and subscribe. And I will tag all my Instagrams down below if you guys want to check them out.